Um, yeah, I thought if you look at the two sides and the, the gap in quality between us and Liverpool, it takes a big effort to, to close that. Um, and I thought we did for, for a very long time. I thought the, the organisation, the structure, the, the quality the players showed managed to help us bridge that gap. Um, and then, yeah, and then when you, you know that you're not going to be the best side against Liverpool for the whole game, it's, yeah, it's, it's not going to happen. So when we were on top, we probably could have took one or two more of our real good situations and capitalised on them. And then after that, once the game, you start to lose a bit of energy and they get control and bring on Nunes, Diaz, um, you know that you're going to have to hang on at that point a little bit and you're going to have to dig in and it's not going to all go, all go your way. And we were. We were digging in, we were hanging on at 1-1. Saar hasn't made loads of saves really um, and then we make a yeah strange decision and create a bit of chaos and concede a second goal um, which we, we spoke a lot about you know trying to keep the game in a structured controlled manner because as soon as you create chaos against Liverpool they're very very good in it um, as you saw towards the end of the game we at 1-1 they've had lots of the ball and they've had sort of control but we knew where everyone was and we knew how the situations were going to unfold and then we make a, a strange decision on 83 minutes cost us the second goal and then from that point we're forced into a bit of chaos against them and they they then create a lot of chances from that moment but um yeah up until up until 80 minutes i think to have to have pushed liverpool that close was it was a big effort from everybody uh, when you look at the, the five games so far the 11 goals you can see 10 of those have been in the second half is there anything to Place your finger on why that is. No, I think most most goals are scored in the second half. We've played some some top teams. Um, yeah, their subs made a huge impact. Had a huge impact on the game today. Um, so yeah, just I mean that's how the game is. I don't think that pattern will continue. I think well, more goals are scored in the second half, so that will continue. But I think from our point of view, obviously gaps start to open up a little bit. You start to get tired. There's yeah, there's reasons we didn't manage to ca capitalise much, but I think, um, yeah, from a defensive point of view, the lads worked extremely hard for a very long time and um, conceded an absolutely crazy second goal, which is a lot of the stuff that I've been trying to get out of the players really since I've got here. Just to, yeah, they 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 play quite loosely and go off and do their own things, and that's just the way they've been playing for an awful long time. So trying to take that unpredictability as much as we can out until we get to the final third and um, we've we've done it in large parts and we managed to remain in control of the game for a long time but then it just shows that if you do create chaos against a side like Liverpool that they, they can punish you like they did so um, yeah still still lots to be done but yeah, if there are positives to be taken in a 3-1 defeat um, there were and Liverpool are going to be a top side this year they'll be, they'll be right at the top of the league no doubt so um, yeah not games that we go into Sort of needing to win. They're not the ones we're judged on, but we uh, we have a big game next week that we we look to go and win. Uh, on this positive, can you take anything from Bellegarde and Neto today and how they performed? Yeah, very good down that side. I thought. Um, yeah, Bellegarde sort of left ten and, and Petro, uh, Pedro off the side. I thought were, were very good. Um, Jean tired a little bit towards the end, so it, that's changing. But I thought for his for his first game and what he brought down that side, I thought they were a, they were a real, real threat. Understood the roles very well. Um, so yeah, please with with both of them. I think Pedro's been absolutely magnificent since I've arrived. I think um, we've done a lot of work with him. I think he was probably last year his performances were under what they should be for a player of his quality, um, and he's bought into everything we've asked. And the, the improvement in him has been incredible. So um, yeah, because he's willing to work every day, willing to take on board what we ask, he looks like a real top player at the moment. Uh, just finally, uh, eight Nori has his injury, and also how far away is Joe Hodge with his injury? Joe Hodge back on the grass running, should be back with a group some point next week. Um, Rayan was just sort of muscle fatigue, really, both sides. So, uh, yeah, don't expect him to have any problems that, that last out till next weekend. But, um, yeah, we'll just need a few days probably to recover. Yeah, okay. okay. How frustrating was it to not get the same joy out of um, Neto in the second half as you did in the first half? Yeah, I mean, I mean, if we were getting that much joy against Liverpool for 90 minutes, then... Yeah, we, we wouldn't be 15th or whatever we are in the league at this moment. If we if we were getting that much joy against Liverpool for 90 minutes, we'd be competing for the title probably. So unrealistic to expect that um, for 90 minutes. But, of course, he's, he's a fantastic player and we want to use him as much as we can. Um, 
but if you take the chances and the stuff that Pedro created over the 90 minutes, he that's more than enough to against the Liverpool side to to have scored two or three goals. So disappointed that we didn't, but um, also lots yeah lots of stuff that, that that was very good in there.